Welcome to the Piano Studio of Lisa Bailey and our series on the Circle of Fifths. We are moving right along and we've done so much already. So far, we have learned C, G, D, and A. In this video, we're gonna move on to E, the E five finger scale, and we're adding another sharp. This is going to be super fun. Let's review the A scale from last week. So remember we had a sharp here, so we had A, B, C sharp, because there's our whole step, D, E. Now as we are working around the circle of fifths, remember we have to move a fifth to get to the next starting point. So one, two, three, four, Five. There's our fifth. So our next starting note is E way up here. So we're really high on the piano. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the D five finger scale and we're going to move it down an octave right here. So we're in the middle of the piano. Now, if you want to play yours up here, you absolutely may. There is nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to move to the center of my piano. So we need to find our whole steps and half steps for our five finger scale. So let's see, what do we have so far? We have a whole step, whole step, half step, and a whole step. So let's see if we can find those in the E five finger scale. Start on E, now we need a whole step. So look, here's a half step. So we need a black note to start with. Then we have another half step. We need a whole step. So look, there's our second black note. Then a half step and then a whole step. So E, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. Isn't this exciting? We have two black keys now. Remember to stay in the black keys a little bit. Finger four and finger two and three have to be forward a little bit so that they can reach, finger two and three can reach these black keys. Finger five up here, your pinky is gonna move forward a little bit too. And I may not have mentioned that in the A video, but these, these, your whole hand is gonna move forward a little bit. When we're just on white keys, they're kind of back here and towards the top of the white, the white keys. But when we're in the black keys, we have to move forward a little bit. So let's play that E five finger scale again. So the notes are E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and B. So let's take a look at the left hand too. Same notes. Here's our whole step to F sharp, another whole step to G sharp. Then we're gonna go to A for our half step and then to B B for our whole step, our final whole step. So let's play this in the right hand. And the left hand. Very good. As always, I want you to spend most of your time working on the five finger scale hands separately. We want to take our time learning it, play it different ways. So I've referenced this in a couple of different videos. You can play it smoothly where you keep everything nice and smooth together. You can also play staccato, which is short and crisp. and you play the notes like they're hot. So practice the five finger scale different ways before you start trying hands together. After you've mastered it hands separately, let's do hands together. Here we go. Okay, and now for my favorite. You all know this is my favorite at this point. Let's do the contrary motion for the E5 finger scale.
Keep nice, firm fingertips as you play. These five finger scales are sounding fantastic. We're gonna move into our improvisation. This is my favorite part of working in the key of E, in our E five finger scale. Actually, it's my favorite part in any of the keys. But this one in particular, I really like the sound of it, where it sits on the piano and the notes that we use. So let's start by practicing some improvisation, review by doing some whole notes, some long notes. You can also do repeated notes. Any of these notes, remember, in the five finger scale that we're working in, which is E for this one, you can use any of those notes. So pause the video, try out some different patterns and see what you like. And when you're ready, come back and we will do the accompaniment with the improvisation together. We'll do a duet. This accompaniment is in six, eight time signature. So this one is going to be even different than the D or the A, which were in three, four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count to six before we start and we'll come in together. So as I said in the A five finger scale accompaniment, you might want to listen to this one a couple of times to get an idea of how the beat goes, what the rhythm feels like, and what six, eight time signature sounds like. Once you're ready and you've heard it once or twice and are ready to go, start the accompaniment over and we'll do it together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. I really enjoy playing duets with you. I hope you're enjoying it too. Practice that as many times as you want to. That is such a fun part to work on together and it really makes your, your E5 finger scale sound super, super impressive. Wow, what a great job you did. That was very impressive. What did you think about adding an extra sharp, another two sharps now in our five finger scale? It's kind of fun to be in those sharps, isn't it? I always enjoy it. Sharps are some of my favorite notes to play. So keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video.